I'm just going to talk to you about uh, reciprocity, um, which is basically giving to receive. So um, if you look into literature, there's stuff uh, written up about how someone like the Hare Krishnas used to give out a, a small flower um, as a gift, a friendship gift, um, and then ask for a small donation in return. And you see the same sort of thing going on with um, scammers in all the major cities and the tourist spots where they'll give out a small friendship bracelet and um, initially it's for free but then they say well you know I've given you something maybe you should give me something back in return as a return of friendship which is strange because the chances are you'll never see the person again. Um, the act of giving to receive uh, basically is one of the underpinning um, facets of, of, of society and if you sort of trade it all the way back to when we were rummaging across the plains of Africa you had a tribe or a group of people uh, the guys would go hunting sometimes people would come back with more food than others so they would give the excess food over to the people that weren't successful on the hunt and the following day the roles might be reversed so then there'd be return of some food to keep your family going. And the, the idea, the emotion that goes behind it is hardwired into our limbic systems. So, you know, you often see in society misguided attempts um, at giving to receive. So one of my own was with uh, good old sister Elizabeth when I was about 14 years old, a vile, obnoxious, horrible um, schoolboy. And uh, she was my form teacher. And I treated her appallingly for a year. And come the day of the um, parents' evening, I offered to stay behind and put the chairs out for her. And as you can probably figure out, my attempts to um, get on her better side didn't really amount to much at all. So you've got different types of reciprocation and you've got sort of a direct where I give you something, you give me something back. You've got the idea of feeding into uh, a group. So I give something to the group, the group gives me back, more of a cooperative idea. And that goes on your character. So you, word of mouth goes about how you, re, you interact with other people, that people help you you will help them back at some point. It goes like almost like a credit system. And reciprocation in the building of relationships tends to need to be proportionate. So if someone comes and gives you a massive gift, normally that arises your suspicion, especially if you don't really know them. But if you give them something very small in the way of time or material items, uh, or even someone just an you know, ear to, to listen, um, that's how relationships are built and um, one of the best sort of uh, examples of group reciprocation I've got is when I used to do Aikido and it was like a membership group and I've heard the same said about rugby you didn't have to be particularly good at Aikido but as long as you turned up and trained um, if you turned up at another dojo anywhere in the world basically you'd be looked after but the same thing was expected if people turned up to your dojo, that you would take them out, look after them, make sure they're all right. Buy them a meal if they travelled in from another country. Um, and that you'd be on best behaviour. So reciprocation works both ways because it can work negatively as well as positively. So when it works negatively, it's where you end up with family feuds going on where someone will do something conceived to be negative by one group of people, they'll return the favour, and that goes back and forth for yet generations. So in general, reciprocation is better to give than receive. And once you start the cycle, then the person's in your debt. So when you're giving, you're talking about sharing food, um, giving something that's a little worth to you but worth to the other person um, assisting in day-to-day -day jobs that need to be done um, doing something fairly small that requires little personal effort but again is valuable to the person 
listening, offering information. Um, one of the biggest things of reciprocation is the giving of help when the other person is really up against it. So short story or long story short, in the last recession, our accountant just really stepped up to the plate, uh, dropped their fees down for us, was there, helped us with our business no end, and it's something I've never really forgotten. Um, the guy didn't have to do any of it, but he did it all, and he's a really good friend. So, um, so reciprocal return generally is, is balanced. If you're gonna give something and you try to motivate people to do stuff for you, be careful how you draw down your return. Don't take it down in ways that are meaningless to what you're trying to achieve. Um, generally, there's a, a thing with, um, you know, the more you give, the more the more you'll get back in return is the general gist of it. I hope that's helpful. It's a bit of a long-winded video, but reciprocation is a bit of an in-depth subject, really, to understand.